Hello, I am Helena Hope from ESAB and I have the pleasure of being at Canada Welding Supply today to go over the ESAB A60 Sentinel Air. All right, so this is the ESAB Sentinel A60 Air and I'm going to talk about um, all the different things that come in the box. So of course you start with the ESAB helmet, the A60 Air, um, and it is all set up for the air filtration system there. You have the hose that attaches to um, the helmet to the pack on the waist. We have a strap here that you can put it, hook it onto your back instead of around the waist. We also have two outer shields, uh, one clear, one in that yellow, and then two glass shields for the inside. Uh, the welding beanie as well. Um, and then this is the battery for the unit here. You can take the hose and what it just is a twist. Um, both sides have the same end, so it does not matter which size you plug in. This plugs into the helmet. The helmet is a little bit different. Um, it actually does twist on the actual helmet versus uh, the clip on the hose. And you can slide this right in here. And now you are ready to weld. All right, so this is the blower here and this is where the battery is inserted. Now the battery life has a 10 hour battery life on the lowest setting and the battery can only be inserted in one way. And you just snap it in, close it to lock it and now you're good to go. Now there are two filters in here. There's a pre-filter and then the air filter here. And it just snaps on just like that. And then at the top here, to turn it on, to turn the blower on, you just hold down the power button until it beeps. Now it's on. So the green light at the very top will show you the battery life. Uh, this green light below it, this is the filter. So um, if the filter is blocked or needs changed, uh, this unit will vibrate um, and also give a small beeping sound so you know that it needs changed. And then you'll see that there are three different settings here. To cycle through the different settings, you just press the power button once and it changes the setting. And then once again, to turn it off, you hold the power button down and it turns off. All right, let's move on to the Sentinel A60 Air helmet. So this is a very similar helmet to the Sentinel A60, the big difference being the headgear and of course the actual air system. So if I turn it around here, it does have a clip for the hose and what this allows is so that the hose is out of the way and it drapes down the back versus the side. So you don't have to worry about it getting caught on you. Uh, it's an easy clip release. And then of course you can always unplug um, the tubing connection here. To do that you just twist, pull, disconnect. Now as I was saying the headgear is the main difference here. So you have the shroud and face guard here and it is fully adjustable and it also has a velcro release so that if you do need to air it out or give it a quick clean, it's easy to do that. The air filtration system is pumped through the helmet and comes out these, this little vent here right in front of the mouth. So you, you are constantly getting that piping of cold air right um, through to your face. Otherwise, the actual um, helmet itself and its features are very, very similar to the Sentinel A60. All right, so looking at the two helmets, I have an a, um, a Sentinel A60 and an a, a Sentinel A60 Air in front of me right now. And from the outside, they look very similar. But once I flip them around, they are very different inside. So starting with the Sentinel A60, if we turn it over, it's your traditional basic kind of welding setup, right? Um, your helmet, you have your fantastic headgear here with the three different um, spots that you can adjust for a very good fit. Um, but otherwise, it is, it doesn't have all the same features that the Sentinel A60 Air has. So if I turn this guy over, it is almost the same headgear, except that there is a clip here for the hose. Um, the how there is also the insertion point here for the tube, and on the internal section, there has been. Um, a part of it that has been molded to the helmet um, internally to provide that seal so
so that the air can be delivered, um, goes in through the top, through the helmet, and out through the ventilation system down here. Okay, and then once again, it also has a shroud and the face protection um, around as well.